Hello, this is Dead Hamster, and so today we're going to touch up on a couple new things to uh, to discuss with the Overcart uh, editing tool, which is used to compile geometry into uh, a Mario Kart 64 game. Uh, for starters, it's been renamed to uh, prevent any confusion with the actual Overcart ROM hack. So going forward, the toolkit itself will be referred to as Tarmac 64. Additionally, it now supports Blender, whereas before it was restricted to only 3DS Max, we now have implemented a new library for loading FBX files, which has been proven to support Blender. So we are able to use uh, pretty much any modeling software that uh, exports to an FBX format. We'll be able to be utilized now for, uh, for making custom levels for Mario Kart 64. Touching on that, one final thing is with a recent build that I'm about to put out in the next hour or two, uh, going to be a new intermediary format. Now, to deal with one of the limitations to the simple format, which was much easier to compile, um, there was no way to mark geometry as render-only or as surface-only geometry. So now with this intermediary format that's not as complex or as difficult as the original layout where you had to list out the objects for each individual section view, which was very tedious. Uh, this will be a lot easier to do, uh, but still allow people to, uh, to denote those objects. So we'll go ahead and take a look at that now using the sewer level that I had built earlier. So just as before, you'll follow the existing simple format tutorial to the letter. You'll end up with a split piece of geometry uh, labeled under nodes called section number, so section 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. And each uh, part will be named a, a unique name, it has to start with the ID, so the road is 1, underscore, and then a unique string. So you're going to get your, form, uh, your model into this format, and then you're going to create a duplicate of all of the objects in the scene. Now I've already gone and done that. When you've gotten those duplicates, you're going to link those to a new cube. This cube will be called Course Master Objects. So as where before we had section 1 through 7, uh, in this case 1 through 7, however many sections are in your level. Now we have a new object, uh, this one called, where is it, Course Master Objects. And all of the, uh, there's going to be a clone of all your objects linked to that. This should not be a, uh, 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 I'm not sure what the, the names are, one moment. It's a whole bunch of different objects. Not an instance and not a reference. You want copies if you're using 3ds Max. If you're using Blender, I can't help you, but you do not want to make an instance or a reference. You want to make a brand new object. Uh, again, all the ones under Course Master Objects now are going to be render objects. These will not be collidable. These will be the objects that are shown to the player. So here you can see I have the water for um, my uh, render objects shown. And I'm going to turn off all of the surface objects for a moment. So here again you can see I have the water. Um, if I were to turn off my render objects and look only at my surface objects, I don't have the water. So when I drive through the water, I'm going to pass right through it, fall through to the bottom of the level, at which point Lakitu can pick me up. Now you may additionally notice here, I have another object with uh, some wall uh, geometry here that wasn't in my render objects. So if the player was to attempt to drive off the level here, he would bump into this wall. Now, he wouldn't see this wall, it would appear to be completely invisible, but he would continuously bump into this invisible object, which would give you the ability, if you needed to, to, uh, to section off parts of the level to prevent exploits or whatever it may be. So again, we now have collision-only objects and render-only objects. The same tutorial as before, when you're finished, you make a copy of all your objects, and put them in a uh, cube called Course Master Objects, these are going to be the ones that are rendered, so you would delete anything that you don't want to have uh, rendered would be deleted. And then the surface objects, anything that you don't want to be collidable, in my case it was the water, I got rid of the water, uh, you would, one moment, there we are, you would delete and get rid of those. 
So that's going to be the new intermediary format. And again, this also works with Blender now. So you're able to make these same courses using and, and Maya, whatever software it is that you prefer using. As long as it is able to export to an FBX format, you'll be good to go. Uh, if you need help and want advice or uh, guidance uh, making these levels, or if you've made levels and you want to show them off, please, please uh, come by into the Discord channel. I'll post a link in the description. Would love to see the content people are making, and it's a great way to, uh, to have your levels get played. So, again, new updates, lots of exciting things to come, and uh, more still on the way. Until next time, as always, you guys take care.